All right, I finally have the radio and the truck programmed by a computer and set up proper. Shows license plate and my ham radio call sign. Got all the two meter national calling frequencies. Got all the 1.25 meter national calling frequencies. Got the 70 millimeter national calling frequencies. Uh, every GRMS channel, which is also a uh, family talk radio. It's probably somebody in industrial millipede is there. I know there's another business around here on channel one. Um, all the GMRS channels, the repeater channels, which are probably useless. Unless I find somebody with that. I got all the C channels. A lot of them. I got uh, satellites, also Rear 2, aka the International Space Station. Satellite, satellite, satellite. Got the uh, Milpitas Amateur Radio Emergency Services Primary, Secondary, Simplex Primary, Simplex Secondary. Uh, I have frequencies from um, mayors for Milpitas Police Department Dispatch and Tactical, but I think they are legacy frequencies as I've never heard anything on those channels since I got radios and 2020. Uh, I got fire department frequencies from them yesterday. I haven't really monitored them. I'll have to wait for hearing sirens from fire trucks to see if they actually do anything. Uh, I have the Silicon Valley emergency service channels. Amazon. <laughs> which, really, those and the Milpitas ones are really only useful if, like, all power and telecommunication gets knocked out in the area. Not uh, so, so easy or so... This is a Palo Alto ham radio repeater. And uh, sometimes you get, you're high and dry in the midst of a, of a project or something like that, and there's some stupid uh, fastener issue that's uh, holding... And they're still up. talking about building radio antennas. Um, I think that's another repeater in the Bay Area. This is definitely a Bay Area repeater group, one in the north, one in the south, but I think one's more northern than the other, but they're both sort of South Bay based. And I got wind system, somebody's private repeater in Milpitas that's good for quality signal here, but I don't think I can broadcast into it. Got the official wind system out of Santa Cruz, got Napa, got Mendocino, Modesto, Yuba City, Redding, Merced, Bakersfield, the Taipechi Mountains. I don't know. It, my dyslexia won't let me read that uh, Native American name. Um, can't remember which city that is. That's Las Vegas. Um, that's another Nevada town near Prim, but it's not Prim. Uh, there's Santa Barbara, uh, Thousand Oaks, Los Angeles, Orange County, Riverside, uh, San Diego North, San Diego South. Uh, some town right on the border of Arizona and California. Yuma, Arizona. Uh, I think Glenwood, Arizona, another town in Arizona, uh, Williams, Arizona, uh, Green Valley, Arizona, then Condor System, or Condor Connection, San Jose, Vacaville, Calistoga, Reno, uh, San Joaquin Valley, Sequoia National Forest, Gorman, uh, Thousand Oaks again, Orange County, San Diego, can't remember that one, Phoenix. A chance of snow. 
We've got all the NOAA weather channels. And then uh, American Association of Railroads. That's the channel they use in the Milpitas Yard. That's the other channel they use in the Milpitas Yard. That's uh, Union Pacific Dispatch 58 where I'm sitting. Every single railroad frequency. 97 of them. Um, the Amtrak link frequency for LA. The BNSF link frequency for the Mojave Desert. Uh, the Union Pacific Bay Area link frequency. Uh, I got Roaring Camp Railroad. Their little walkie talkies. The Western Pacific Railroad Museum operation channel. Uh, San Jose International Airport weather, ground, tower, departure, approach, another approach, another approach frequency, and another approach frequency, uh, San Francisco ground, tower, uh, Oakland Center departure, which is shared between Oakland and San Francisco, uh, San Francisco approach, uh, another shared between San Francisco and Oakland approach. There are two of those. Yeah, there are two shared approaches there. Oakland International Ground, Oakland International Tower. They got three tower frequencies for multiple runways. Oakland Departure, Oakland Approach, uh, Reed Hill View Weather, Ground Tower. They got multiple tower, one tower frequency for each runway. We got Livermore Airport Weather. Ground Tower, Oakland Center out of uh, Livermore, um, Moffett Field Weather, Ground Tower, Palo Alto Weather, Ground Tower, um, San Carlos Weather, Ground Tower, uh, Half Moon Bay Weather, uh, Half Moon Bay Unicom, because they don't have tower ground there. It's all pilot manned and operated. Hayward Weather, ground tower. Uh, Concord Weather, ground tower. Uh, Travis Air Force Base, ground tower. Travis Air Force Base Center for approach and departure. Uh, specifically approach only for them. Um... Sacramento Executive Weather, Ground and Tower, Sacramento International Ground, Tower and Centers, um, McKellen Weather, McKellen Unicom, uh, Beale Air Force Base Weather, Ground, Tower, and that's it. Much nicer than a handful of programmed in air traffic control frequencies and then just manually punching in frequencies to get things. Especially since a bunch of these things in here are repeater-based things and doing repeaters manually on this radio is sort of a bitch and a half.